welcome back to the channel guys it is saturday we're doing starting a little early it's six o'clock i just picked up a, a 27 dollars batch for right a going seven miles um just shopped it three items very easy heading to the drop off all right guys just finished drop that order off it was 2701 very easy drop off Heading back, heading to Ralph's to see if I can pick up a couple more batches before the Costco drop at 10. All right, see you guys then. All right, guys, welcome back. Just a little heads up that um, completed that delivery and sitting here at Ralph's waiting for the next order. Um, did see a couple come across, but they were a little too far, so I'm not going to be picking those up. Um, my goal today is $300. Right now, I'm at $2701. Trying to get to $100 before um, the Costco drop, but we'll see what happens. All right, guys, welcome back. I just swiped this $109 batch. It's a, actually a two-shop one. Which one? The first one's going to be at Target, and the second one's going to be at Sprouts. Um, have did the Sprouts before. I'm not too big fan of it, but for a $109 batch, I think I'm going to do it again and see how it goes. All right, guys, just made it Arrived to Sprouts, Park Boulevard. which is my second uh, shop. So let's go rock this and uh, knock it out. All right, guys, just finished that two shop batch order. Went really well. Uh, the second one was at Sprouts and was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. The only challenge was that this guy was, uh, or this lady, sorry, was adding on multiple items. Um, I think it added on another like 15 items. Was very disappointed though to see that my batch price didn't really move. So I'm gonna contact Instacart to find out what's going on with that. Um, but overall experience, can't complain. Um, everything was on time, no concerns about um, products going bad. Even though my first one was from Target, there was not a lot of products that could be go bad so which was good um, but overall experience great I will definitely do it again and at $103 for the batch I can't really complain so far right now uh, it's put me at $140 and Costco hasn't started to drop alright guys just made it to Costco um, there was a quite a few that dropped, but they were all a little small. I think they're just a lot of customers that wants to order early. I'm gonna wait till 9:30 unless something really uh, big comes up. But I'm gonna wait till the initial drop at 9:30 and go from there. Turn right. Uh, all right, guys. Parkway, just swipe left onto Savita Boulevard. Just swiped a $47 badge. Shopped it on my first delivery right now. All right, guys, what a doozy. I picked up a $40 batch, but to my surprise, it had a total of 10 cases of water. And to make matters worse, the first drop off, four of those cases were going up three flights of stairs. And I think the customer wasn't happy because I texted her about the water because they didn't have the Kirkland that she wanted. And I asked if she would want one of these as a replacement. Um, so on her app, she said that she wanted to do the Pure Life one, so I, re I substitute those. And then when I went to drop it off, she started questioning me about it. So needless to say, it looks like that batch price might be going down. On to my second delivery. Um, it's not too far, just in my neighborhood. So that should be a breezy. That has six cases of water, by the way. Uh, crazy, but it is what it is. You know, I'm trying to hit my goal of 300. Right now, after this delivery, I'm gonna be sitting at about 210. So $90 more to go. I'm, I got a good feeling that I can hit that goal. So very excited. All right, welcome back guys. Let's do a little update. All right, so I've taken uh, an early morning order, which was really great. Then I had a two shop, which was $103. Um, originally the boss batch price was 109. I don't know why it went down because I, found every single item and on top of that my customer B added another 15 items so you would think the batch price should go up I contact Instacart care about it 
and they just gave me to run around talking about they don't have no jurisdiction and if the guest changes the their tip amount then I explained it to them that uh, none of my customers ex actually um, decreased their tip amount the t tip amount was actually what it was on the original and I was asking them like why isn't the batch price going up as those items added and they didn't have an answer for me I just got the run around on, until I actually just give up on it um, it's unfortunate that it is how it is, but I think Inscarch needs to do better with um, their batch prices, especially when customers are adding item, item after item. Uh, but enough with that. You know what? I'm not going to let that deter me, me from uh, achieving my goal today. All right, guys. Just a uh, little update. I've been at Costco for a couple, for about 45 minutes before anything was really coming up. And then I snagged a $73 batch, 40 items. Uh, was able to shop it with help with my girlfriend. And right now I'm on the route to my first delivery. All right guys, just made it back to Costco and then I picked up a $14 batch, six items going three miles. That $14 is gonna push me over my goal. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. We're just gonna run through the numbers for today. Today I ended up doing a total of 304.42. I had $100 in batch pay, $10 in promo, 194 in tips for a grand total of 304.42. Hourly rate would be around $35.60. Um, Total distance is not available, but I'm gonna roughly estimate that I traveled probably around 60 miles today. Um, you know, getting up early this morning and doing a couple early batches before Costco did actually help me out. I was over $100 before the Costco drop, um, so which was a good thing for me because if I didn't have that, then I would be sitting roughly around $200, a little, bit, a little shy. But overall, I can't complain today. It's been a really successful day. Um, bringing my weekly total right now. Let me just bring that up for you guys. My weekly total right now is at 583 with a $50 adjustment from last week. Um, you take away that, I'm at 533. 533 for the week, which is great. I still got tomorrow, Sunday, um, which is gonna be one of the busiest days of the week for Instacart. So I'm not banking another 300, but you know, maybe a 200, 150 to 200. Now, you know, I call it a success, successful week. So um, until then, you know, keep on shopping.